Okay, we need to um, set up our GitHub. And I've opened up my downloaded project here, and I've tried to use init. And when I hit init and either control or command enter to try and run it, it's telling me that I need to configure my username and user name, email in Git. And so that gives us this git config that I need to run. So I'm, I've opened the terminal window, and you can do that here, new terminal. And I'm going to type in git config dash dash global user email space and the email I used to set up GitHub. That should be your student email. And then I'm going to do git config global user name and I'm going to put in Mary Engel. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to have my init here. Excellent. So that set up my local version of GitHub and initialized it. So I can go back to my demo site here. And if I click on site control, you can see I have no changes. They've been, they're in there and they've been initialized. And so now I need to connect to my remote GitHub. And that opens up a new window over here. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to allow it. And I'm always going to let that run. So I'm going to click these three dots up here, which give me my options. And you can see I've got the add remote, remove remote option, branches, etc. And I want to push to. And I want to pick my Web 105. This blue line up here indicates that it's working. Ah, and here I have my master, and that has all of my folders in it. Everything I've worked on. So my demo site is here, and you can see it has my CSS. And that's in there. It has images. And it has my index.html. And it has my pages. I also get my history and when things were loaded. So everything is up there. So when you hand in your work after uploading things to them, and you should have had the demo site. So go to your Web 105 folder and then click the link within it like I did the demo site. And this is the link that you will send in to me.